Hey, what's going on, Wahoo Nation? So, uh, it's the morning after the Virginia Tech game. Uh, yeah, got a lot to say about this one. So, so Virginia Tech came into our stadium, into our house, with their fans storming our field. And they, they, they just put a good old-fashioned beat down on us. 55 to 17 yesterday. And, um... And hats off to Tech because, you know, I'm not going to take anything away from them. They, I've said this before, the reason why they've kicked our butts for the last 25 years is because they actually care about the rivalry. They take this game seriously, and we don't. We've, we've only beaten them, we've only beaten them three times in the last 25 years. 98, 03, and 2019. So, um... Yesterday was, to say yesterday was abysmal is a massive understatement. Yesterday, in yesterday's game, well, before the game, you know, I made that preview video. I said, you know, you know, if we, we, we could have beaten Tech, guys. We could have beaten them. And I said, if we, and if we could have beaten them, you know, we could use this as a morale booster, a momentum booster going into the off season, and and all that kind of stuff. And uh, they crap the bed again, and so, and I want to talk about uh, what I the main focal point of what I wanted to to talk about in this video. I want anyone in the UVA athletics department, anyone that is associated with the football program, I want every single one of those people fired. That includes coaches, anybody. Tony Elliott is he he's got to go. Tony has got to go. OK, and yesterday proved it the way this team played yesterday versus uh, Virginia Tech. The way this team played yesterday. Those are signs that the team has given up, that you've lost the locker room. OK, and those are you, you've lost the locker room. OK, the team, the team just doesn't care. They they came out yesterday playing uninspired and like they just didn't want to be there. You know, and that's been that's been the case with this team all season. You know, they they'll play against the good teams like North Carolina again in Miami and Louisville. They'll either beat them or play them really close. But against the mediocre teams like Georgia Tech and Virginia Tech and, you know, James Madison, you know, we'll, we'll lose to them and get blown out to them. And so. I mean, I just don't know what's going on here. Well, I think I do know what's going on. And the the team the team just they just play uninspired. And yesterday proved it, okay? Yesterday was living proof that the team the locker room has been lost and you've lost you've lost the team, Tony. And it's time for you to hit the road and get out of here. Okay? Getting paid 4 million over 4 million dollars a year and yet you're you're putting a product on the field like that? The fans and you know what? This is Carla too. She needs to go too. Carla Williams, our athletic director, she's got to go too. She's she made this hire, okay? She hired Tina Thompson for the women's basketball program, and you saw how that turned out. So that's two big time programs that that she made bad hires for. Now maybe for the women's basketball team with Mox Hamilton, you know, I think I think we're going to be okay there. But but that's beside the point. Carla's got to go too, okay? And Tony definitely has to go, but he won't because they're not going to fire him after this year. That's just not what we do. But we got to make some changes. Um, John Brzezinski, he's got to go. Des Kitchens, get rid of, just blow this whole thing up, okay? The defense was the biggest disappointment for this season, especially when you look at how they improved, how last year they improved from 2021. And you had... Basically, you had mo a lot of players returning specifically on the defensive line, and yet we were the worst team in the ACC when it comes to run defense. So, I don't know, man. Um, and the, they just look, they looked, they just played so slow, like they were just, you know, out of shape and all that kind of stuff. And it's like they just didn't care. Tech just put up big play after big play after big play. Uh, special teams, we gave up a kickoff return for touchdown. Sorry, my clock is going off. 
Um, but anyway, um, the, this, 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 this was a humiliating performance yesterday. Anthony Calandrum, uh, he ran his mouth all week long after the Duke game saying, not if we beat, but when we beat Virginia Tech, the team, this, the, you know, the whole world's going to know about UVA football. He ran his mouth all week and he paid for it big time yesterday. Tech basically put a bounty on him and I don't know how many times they sacked him, probably at least double digit sacks, probably. I don't know, but he, he got, he got lit up like a Christmas tree yesterday. And you know what? He, that's what he gets for running his mouth. I hate to say that about a player on my own team, but, you know, that's 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 what he gets for doing that. And I bet you he'll think twice before running his mouth again. So, I mean, everything that went wrong yesterday in that game went horribly, catastrophically wrong. And and like I said, anyone anyone that is associated with this football pro, football program, they got to go. They got to go. And that includes coaches, you know, athletic director, anybody. Tony Elliott is not a football coach. You know, he, I mean, he, he's clearly, he's clearly in over his head. All right. He has no business being a head coach at, at the power five level. Okay. So I, I don't know what else to say. And yesterday's game pr sealed it for me. I thought, you know, you know, we beat Duke last week, and then, you know, you know, you can also say, you know, the game, the close games that we lost, you know, we did beat North Carolina, but when, you know, we had the close loss to, uh, you know, to Miami, you can look at those games, you can look at Miami, you can look at Boston College, you can look at NC State and Louisville, you can look at all those games and say, oh, in James Madison, you can look at all those games and say, oh, well, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but it doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, we lost those games, and, and it's like Bill Parcells says, you are what your record says you are. And and I honestly, I'm surprised that we even beat North Carolina. I'm surprised we beat Duke last week. So, and even against Wim and Mary, we had we had to come from behind to win that one. So, I don't know. But uh, yesterday, yesterday was putrid. It was an absolutely putrid performance. And the fans deserve better, okay? The fans, the students, the alumni, we as fans deserve better than, than what we saw yesterday. And, you know, that's another thing. This this rivalry, I mean, can you really even call it a rivalry anymore? I mean, you can call it whatever you want to, but but this rivalry used to mean something, okay? I mean, it used to mean something on the national level, but now, now we're lucky to even get it on the ACC network, you look at the stadium yesterday, the stadium wasn't even three quarters full. And for the fans that were there, it was the, the vast majority of them were, were tech fans. And so anyway, but it, it used to mean something back in those days. I remember growing up, I mean, I mean, I still get up for this game, but really back in the day when I was growing up, it really was a heated rivalry. And it, in some ways it still is, but um, but it, it, it's lost its luster. And like I said, Tech actually cares about this game, and we don't, and that's why they kicked our butts for the last, you know, two and a half decades. And unfortunately, I don't see it getting any better. So, you know, George Welsh, you know, when he played, when he was coaching here, you know, he had a pretty good record against Tech. He beat them quite a few times. But that all changed after he left. You know, Al Gro only beat him one time. Mike London never beat Tech, and Bronco only beat him one time. And so far, even though it's only been one time, Tony Elliott, yeah, he... Anyway, but that's really... What what we saw yesterday uh, is a microcosm of UVA football for the, for the 2023 season. Against the mediocre teams, we'll play like garbage. But against the good teams, we'll either win or, or play in real close. And, you know, this, this team just doesn't care. And it's obvious that this team, it's obvious that this team has given up and, and that the locker room has lost and some changes, some major changes need to be made, even though it won't be, um, at least from a head coaching standpoint, but it's, it's very clear now, guys, Tony Elliott is, he's not the guy, he's not a football coach and, but I don't know what we're going to do. We gotta, we gotta do better. 
we we're gonna have to hit it big in the portal. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about recruiting. So Tony Elliott in his two years at UVA, we have our recruiting has been god awful. We we I think we in this last class, the twenty twenty three class, we've only had like thirteen players. And not one and we've only got twelve so far this year. We're almost dead last in the ACC when it comes to recruiting. Not a single four star recruit. This coaching staff cannot recruit. That and that's a big problem. You know, you can say what you will about Bronco and Mike London, but at least they can get some quality talent. And 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 Tony hasn't done that. So we gotta recruit better. And but again, it's it's pretty clear now. It's pretty clear Tony Elliott is not the guy. And and we got some changes got to be made. Tony's got to go. Carla's got to go. This entire coaching staff has to go. And I think that's what we're going to have to do is just blow this whole thing up and start all over from scratch. So anyway, guys, um, I've gone on long enough here. But, yeah, we got to make some changes. And yesterday proved it. And it's pretty clear now that the locker room is lost and the team, the team just doesn't care and they've given up. And so it's time to make some changes. So anyway, uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comments section, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Hoos. I know it's tough uh, being a being a Virginia football fan, but you know I stick by my team no matter what through the good times and the bad. So you know we'll just see see how things go going forward.